eternal life and living forever, would you choose it? If you did not have to die, would you pick it? Would you choose to live forever? Here's your choice. So the saying goes, change is inevitable. The only sure thing in this life is death and taxes. Well, what if we could take one of those two away? Here we have what we see from Egyptian culture, where they have been trying to defeat death by storing up riches for the afterlife. But what if you did not have to die? We see this in modern sciences and modern day technology and medication that we are actually extending life far beyond what natural sciences could have done in the past. But we are still mortal beings. But who's to say that this finite being has an end? So everybody <laughs> is a carcass, it is a housing place for the eternal soul. So your body will return to the dust, but your soul will live on, much like energy, right? Energy cannot be created or destroyed, but just reimagined, reused. So likewise, your spirit shall live on, but where will it go when your body so we have um, two options, heaven and hell, basically. So you can actually choose uh, <laughs> for yourself. So the Bible says in uh, Thessalonians and the New Testament, it talks about us dying the first death and the second death. So how you live forever is that you do not die the second death. So there is a first death when it comes to um, just natural death. Uh, not everybody who dies uh, will see Jesus, and not everybody who sees Jesus will die. So Jesus is coming back um, with his um, opening of the sky, Armageddon, and his second coming. So uh, who dies the second death? You die the second, uh, wait. <laughs> so who dies the first death? So the first death um, comes from just naturally, right? So everybody who lived up to until 2019 um, and before and has died, that is the first death. That is your natural death, right? And whoever uh, continues to live on and dies afterward, you will also be part of the first death. Um, but here is the second death. So it says when Jesus returns that there will be a cracking of the sky with the sounding of the trumpet and he shall come with his army of angels and there will be um, the first resurrection of those who are dead in Christ, right? <laughs> and so everybody that's dead in Christ will come into the sky, boom, rise. But then you have everybody that's alive at the time and they will go up into the sky too, uh, being drawn by his angels. So. That is the first uh, life, first death, right? Boom. So you still have people who are left on the earth uh, when Jesus comes back, but you also have people who are uh, dead in the grave when he comes back. So you have a median time. And in this median time, it is uh, being read the Lamb's Book of Life. You want your name to be on there. So the angels, including us, will make sure Everyone that's on there is supposed to be on there. Everyone that's missing is not supposed to be on there. And this is the second resurrection, right? Uh, not resurrection in a good way. For those who are dead outside of Christ will rise from the grave to be with those who are left behind when it comes to Armageddon or the rapture, um, as some will call it, right? And so, um, from there is the final judgment. This is the second death. And um, in the second death, um, you have permanent devil, demons, people who do not receive Jesus as their Lord and Savior into the grave eternal. And this is the people who deny um, Jesus during the seven years of tribulation, but also have denied him during their life. So, 
I have two steps for you to never die, for you to live forever, and it's up to you. The Bible says um, the gospel of Jesus Christ is equated in two words, repent and believe. Those are your two steps for inheriting eternal life, eternal salvation. When the second earth, the second heaven comes that you can live forever. So uh, will you choose <laughs> to live forever? And the verse that we have um, to go off of it is 2 Timothy 3, 9, I believe. It says, God is not slow, as some people will count slowness, but is patient towards us, not willing that any should perish, but all should come to repentance. So what that means is that God's not willing that any should perish. So he's giving us time to repent and to believe. And we can live eternally uh, when heaven passes away, when earth passes away, in a new heaven, new earth, paradise with him. And this is what we can trust in, that all who call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. And uh, what the Bible says is that anybody who confesses that Jesus is risen from the dead, uh, risen from the dead, um, that he is the son of God. If you confess in your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus is the son of God and he is raised from the dead, you are saved. So that is the eternal salvation that we can trust in, believe in, and that we are called to love, preach the gospel of grace, eternal life, eternal damnation, and eternal salvation. So. You can live forever if you choose to. Yo, thank you for watching this video. Make sure to um, hit that subscribe button right there. Our latest videos are right over here. Our um, playlist is right here. And turn back um, next week for another quick discussion. And yo, let me hear from you what you're trying to talk about. Let's get to the show.